Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Tuesday, March 22nd. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, lots of great stuff are at fountainchurchtallahassee.org. Now, every Wednesday in Lent, we meet at 615 for fellowship and a Lenten devotion. But coming this Sunday at 1030, Sunday the 27th, it is our 75th anniversary, and you are invited for worship, and following, we'll have dinner on the grounds. What a great celebration it will be of 75 years that we have enjoyed the opportunity to serve the Lord. My scripture today is Genesis chapter 1, verse 20. And God said, let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the heavens. This is the word of the Lord. Well, apparently we are a lot like magpies. Magpies? Well, I don't have that much experience with magpies. But what I do know is that researchers and scientists studying the magpie have all sorts of trouble. Why? The magpie are pretty clever. It's hard to study birds. We don't fly. And very often they nest or roost in places that are difficult for us to reach. And if we try, very often they'll move somewhere else. And so we try to put little transmitters on them so that we can record their habits. Now, the magpies are very clever. The researchers have pulled out their hair trying to figure out how to fit them with these transmitters. No matter what they do, no matter how they fit them, no matter how unobtrusive, the magpies all get together and their combined group wisdom figures out a way to get rid of the transmitters. That's right. Well, you might say, hooray for the magpies. <laughs> they outsmarted science. I know it's tempting. But you see, magpies are in danger of extinction. The reason the researchers are working with them is they're trying to find ways to save them. But you see, the magpies aren't paying any attention to that. In their limited knowledge and intelligence, they perceive a threat or a change. They don't like change any more than we do. Isn't this, unfortunately, an illustration of who we are as human beings? God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to save us. Do you see much evidence around the world that people are embracing this salvation? Well, of course, many do. Christianity is the number one religion in the world. However, far too many are like the magpie. We don't want to be saved. We push away every opportunity. We run from Christ's salvation. We rebel against any restrictions on our lives, even if they would bring us greater freedom in the end. So I pray, first, we pray for the magpies, that they would find a way to aid them, that they would not go extinct. But number two, may we not be like the magpies. Let's accept salvation in Jesus Christ and revel in the glory of Christ's blessings. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that you would remind us how important it is to embrace your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to confess our sins, to repent, to open our lives up to the kingdom, that we might have hearts of servant, and that we might serve gladly in your holy name. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.